Citrus trees in Ventura County are threatened after dozens of trees found to be infected there, part of the area already being quarantined. NBC 4's Gordon Tokumatsu spoke to growers who have been in the business for generations, and now they face an uncertain future. Like many other Ventura County citrus growers, Lisa Tate shudders at the memory. Oh, God, it was horrible. Late October last year, a deadly bacterial disease called Huang Long Bing had just been discovered in two backyard trees at a home in Santa Paula. And you think, well, now what? Like, the citrus industry's gone, you know? How are we going to make money doing this? Lisa's not being overly dramatic here. The U.S. Department of Agriculture calls it one of the most serious plant diseases in the world, also known as citrus greening. It's an existential threat to growers of lemons, limes, oranges, and other fruits in that category. New leaves coming out right on the end. The little buds. Uh-huh. She showed us where the trees become vulnerable. An insect called an Asian citrus psyllid feeds on new shoots on the tree, spreading the bacteria far and wide. The symptoms include yellow, blotchy leaves. Now, nearly 70 trees have been found to be infected in Santa Paula, some within a mile of the Tate family citrus crops, which have been here since the late 19th century. You're looking at a tree that you've grown for maybe 20, 30 years, or maybe you just planted it. Once infected, that tree will produce small, deformed, and bitter fruit. There's no cure. It'll have to be destroyed or die on its own. The state of California has already issued a quarantine across about 100 square miles of Ventura County. Similar measures in place in L.A., Riverside, San Bernardino, and San Diego. Lisa points out that so far, the infections haven't struck large commercial groves like her 800 acres here, but they are showing up in private backyards. And we have to really hope that our neighbors who have these backyard trees are willing to cooperate. To that end, Ventura County is encouraging all backyard citrus growers not to exchange fruits or even tree trimmings with other people. You could help save a $250 million industry here. In Santa Paula, Gordon Tokumatsu, NBC4 News.